And welcome back to Hannity. Now, last week's Mississippi Republican senatorial runoff came to a very messy conclusion after it was uncovered that supporters of Senator Thad Cochran used dirty, race baiting political tactics to defeat Tea Party favorite Chris McDaniel. Now, several days ago, we showed you these flyers distributed by Cochran advocates in black neighborhoods. Now, they accused McDaniel and other Tea Party members of wanting to prevent blacks from going to the polls. Now, earlier in tonight's program, Ainsley Earhart first reported on the newly unearthed Election Day radio. Ads released by allies of the Cochrane campaign. Now take a listen to another example that should make your blood boil. Take a look. Time is running out. Please hurry. Walk, drive, or run to your voting precinct. If the Tea Party with their racist ideas win, we will be set back to the 50s and 60s. You've heard what Congressman Benny Thompson has said with other elected officials, so vote today. Our future is at risk. Please don't stay at home. You can vote after work. Polls close at 7 p.m. Say no to the racist agenda of Chris McDaniel and his Tea Party. You know, with reaction tonight from the New York Civil Rights Coalition, Michael Myers, and radio talk show host with the Salem Radio Network, nationally syndicated, Dennis Prager. All right, let me put up on the screen again. Let's look at let's look at these these flyers that were distributed in predominantly black neighborhoods that the Tea Party intends to prevent blacks from voting on Tuesday. And then the details are even worse, and they basically portray McDaniels as a racist. Tea Party intends to prevent you from voting. Um, and then you got the robocalls. I, this was done by Republicans to Republicans here. I couldn't, if I lived in Mississippi, I would not vote for Thad Cochran. Under any circumstances, this crosses a line for me. Democrats play this against the Republicans all the time, and it infuriates me. Look, it's infuriating on every level, I, I, and I share your fury, and I don't get that furious. But uh, number one, there is there is an original sin here, and that is these open primary type things, where anybody votes in the other guy's primary. This is a way to destroy the parties. That's what really was the intent in many, like in California. Sure. Uh, there's all it does is invite mischief. I can vote in your primary or general primary to undo the guy I think will win. I totally agree with you, but here's the point. Thad Cochran saw the polls and was going to lose. Correct. So he needed, he made a conscious decision, his campaign and supporters, those around him. To smear. To smear, besmirch, yeah. race bait. That's right. I look at that as the tactic right out of the Democratic playbook, Michael Myers, and I can give you case and point of when they've used it. Look, when you got to win, you got to win, and you play the keep. And you gotta know the rules, and you gotta know the loopholes. So when Thad Cochran and, so and his principal be let me, let me speak, please. Just Thad Cochran and his supporters knew the rules. They used the rules, and what they did was they said, "Hey, black Democrats on radio, the radio ads were, were terrific, by the way. They were not hateful. They were motivational. It said, it said, was it race baiting? Wait a minute. No, it no, said, I'm asking. Was I'm it saying race no, it wasn't race baiting. It Seriously? was, it was condescending. Ridiculous. It was not. Let me finish my point, and you'll understand it. The, the, the radio ad said, you got $5 for gas money. Don't, get, don't sit on your butts and, 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 and accept being lazy. Get to the polls. If you voted on June 3rd, you can't do it. If you did not vote on June 3rd, right. come and vote. Wait, 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 We don't is, have a filibuster here. Party, is the Tea Let Party racist? Let me play racist? this ad. Is the Tea Party racist? I was just going to say to you that in the culture, in the water, in the air, Julian Bond said it. The, the, the chair of the NACP, he said the Tea Party is the is the Taliban wing of American politics. Oh, that's now, disgusting. So you believe that? that? No, I don't believe that. But that's in the ears, in the culture, and that's right. why Let they. Me, appeal. You said there's not race baiting. Let me play another radio ad here where it's they mention where they mention the Ku Klux no, it's Klan. It's motivational. It's black talk radio. It, right, let's it's listen. Ambitious it's and condescending. Let's, let's when Congressman to... Thompson says the group of Tea Party radicals scares him, we should listen. Last week, the Clarion Ledger was able to tie McDaniel's campaign to an ally of the Ku Klux Klan. And this supporter of McDaniel's campaign was a Klan lawyer that represented Sam Bowers. If we stand by and don't go to the polls and vote today, do you understand what we could lose? Motivational or race baiting? No, no, that, no, it's race baiting. Not, no, it, it, but it's, it's the agenda of the left adopted by exactly. a Republican. Well said. And exactly. it's, that's what's, it's, it's vile. Would you vote for Cochran? If you were a Okay, if you... this is a terrible tear in my heart because the thought of losing the Senate because of Cochran to the Democrats who have done so much damage in the last six years 
that's actually even more painful than allowing the guy who have do, has done terrible things. I'll tell you what. I think this can be undone if you find, if you check all of the voters, I'll bet you Mc, McDaniel is able uh, uh, to see, undo it. See, I agree it. with that. And I also agree with your analysis about the original sin, and you should not be able to cross party yes. lines. Look, I'm a registered conservative. I, when, if Republicans want to be Democrats and run campaigns like the, the Missouri radio ad, if you elect uh, Republicans, black churches are going to burn, or the, the NAACP ad, the James Byrd ad, I'm not going to support them. I, this this Sean, is a bridge too no, far. No, I, I respect Sean, that. you are really overestimating these voters. They were told on Black Talk Radio, you don't want to lose your food stamps. You don't want to lose your government programs. You don't want to lose your free breakfast. Sorry. Get to the polls. That's motivation. Isn't that hateful? That's cool. It's no, condescending. No, that, no, 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 that is condescending. <laughs> it is condescending. Well, no, no, the and in that regard, it's racist. Saying the Tea Party <laughs> is racist, that's not condescending. Well, but nobody believes that, that who has any good uh, sense. Oh, oh, I, uh, Nobody I, believes I that who has any good true. sense. I would say 90% of professors... They say that the Tea Party finds... Right. Barack Obama objectionable that, that right. they, they disrespect him. So do I. I'm not a member of the National right. Tea Party. Ninety percent go. of college professors <laughs> believe the Tea Party is racist. That's interesting too. That You're racist? wrong on this one, Mr. No, Myers. <laughs> Let me talk, and I'll tell you. I'll convince you. You want a five-minute monologue? This is you. television soundbite. Come on, man. Catch up. Keep up with the times. You.